Ooh, I got a cool one for you today. I'm showing you how I built this. This is a custom analog synthesizer module. Those two guys you saw in the intro, Harry and Jacob, are super into making analog synths. And Harry's had one for about a year. That was his that he was plugging away at. And both of them really want to get into making their own modules. So we did a little bit of research about what module we want to make. We found that Look Mum No Computer, this wacky guy, did an awesome circuit about how to make your own module based around the CEM3340 chip. So we decided that we were going to make the same thing. So I started out by taking the schematic that Look Mum No Computer made and I threw it into KiCad. And then I started to work around making a board out of it and seeing if I could do it all on one side. And the reason for that is because at Deep Local we have a little PCB mill that can do single sided boards. And I didn't want to wait for a whole bunch of boards to come back from a board shop. So I decided I would try and do it all one sided so we could just make it right there in house at work. also wanted these modules to integrate with the standard Eurorack format, so I went online and I found all the dimensions and all the pinouts and everything that you need to make a module to work with the Eurorack format, and I used that to design a little faceplate that we laser cut out of acrylic, and then a wooden veneer kind of design decal thing, and all of this still fits with the Eurorack, so if you have a Eurorack system, it's technically a, oh boy, 3U high 4HP wide module, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So if you have a standard Eurorack, that'll just pop right in. Even the power jack on the back, it'll just plug right into it. So after we got all the boards milled out, we started soldering in all the resistors and the capacitors. The capacitors we kept surface mount and the resistors we kept through hole. And the reason for that was Jacob and Harry have never done soldering before. So I figured it'd be easier if we did through hole for those. Also the through hole components have a lot of gaps underneath that I can run traces through. So it makes it a ton easier to route for a single sided board. taking all the components and screwing them into the faceplate. Now there's one devastating thing about this. See the socket on the back? It's missing the CEM3340, the beating heart of this entire module. And the reason is because they're really hard to get and they used to be super expensive before they started making them again in 2016. So I'm currently waiting for the chip to come in. So the next video is gonna be plugging this thing in and actually seeing how it works. Right now it just looks pretty, but it doesn't do anything. So I'll see you in the next one when we boot this sucker up and start making some music. separate, you know, different parts of the beat out, and then like... Do you have an output for each? I'd have to like solo it, yeah. I said, like manually solo each one of these. 